Okay, today I'm going to go over the paint controller, which is not new to 4.0. However, it functions a little bit differently. So within the scene, I have a editable mesh that's sitting on a NURBS surface. I'll open Para. And here you can see I have a Para node, a surface controller, and then a sub object offset controller. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to uh, the plus go to add-ons and then go to paint. This was formerly found under utilities and now be found under add-ons and paint. So um, under the paint controls we can see that we have a, a gradient of color and essentially what the paint is going to be doing is um, it's just going to be painting a set of parameters that you define. So if you'd like to paint curvature or area, something that you'd like to visualize, this is um, this is the, uh, the way to do it. Um, you can also adjust the, uh, the color gradient simply by right clicking and then in your material editor and you can adjust that here. I'll leave it as default for now. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is calculate the area of the panels within this array um, and to do that I'll need a mesh controller. Uh, the mesh controller will calculate the area for me. So I'll double click and add a mesh controller. Okay, so the first thing I'll need to do is um, connect the um, the mesh controller to um, to the paint controller. So um, I'll go from the output to the input, and now these two are connected. Okay, um, within my um, mesh controller options, I'll adjust this to area, so I know that it's calculating the area, and I'll and I'll um, change it to object because I want it to have it to include the whole object and the output I'll, I'll keep as the default for total surface area but you have a whole series of options okay so the next thing I need to do um, in order to feed all the geometry into the paint controller is add the link controller and essentially what that does is let me add the link controller here And essentially what this is going to do is it's going to take all the geometry within my array and then feed it to the mesh controller, which will then calculate it and send it to the paint controller. So uh, what I'll need to do is take my, uh, my link controller um, from right there. So I'll take the output of the link controller and put it into the input of the um, the uh, the mesh controller and I can rename this panel okay um, and then from here so now I have a system that I've defined the parameters and I'll need to um, connect this back into the para node so I'll go from para to para here and now I can Let's get rid of this. And now I could essentially just need to click on the paint controller and then update it. So the surface came out completely red because um, the minimum and maximums um, are pretty extreme. So uh, Para can automatically calculate the, the minimums and maximums for you. So I'll just update here. And now you can see that we have a, a much wider range with calculated numbers. So um, as you can see that the sum of the panels on the uh, the edge condition stretch quite a bit. Um, if we wanted to um, regularize that, the way to do it would be to go to your um, your surface controller um, and then select the um, option at the bottom, which is labeled um, surface optimization, and you can hit um, optimize edge, and you can see how that'll update. And essentially what that done is it's kept the same number of divisions in the U and the V direction. It's just shifted them so you'll get um, less stretching here and then you'll get less condensed uh, panels uh, in those tighter areas of curvature. Okay, and that's how you uh, would use the paint controller to visualize a certain parameter within uh, a given array.